I have fallen down the rabbit hole that is Star Citizen, and it seems, well, it seems like there's no end in sight. How's it going, guys? Blue the Robot here, and for the past few days, I have been playing nothing but Star Citizen. In fact, it's true. I'm hooked. I'm addicted. I can't stop thinking about that next contract or building up my bounty hunting reputation or even building up my sub count to 5,000. Look, it was right there. But there's always something else I can't stop thinking about, and it's those goddamn bugs. No, 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 not, not those. These. You gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me. Contract after contract, port after port, and planet after planet. There always seems to be something wrong, and these are just the ones that I got on camera. And today, I kind of want to talk to you guys about my experience so far checking out the most intense, bug-ridden, immersive space sim game ever made so far. <laughs> So in my last video, I mentioned that originally in 2017, they raised around 30 plus million dollars just in crowdfunding alone. What I completely missed out on were the next six years all the way up to now. You guys want to know how much the game has raised in 2023? 583 million, 804,440 million dollars. There's nothing on this paper. Like yeah. 583,804,440 just from crowdfunding. Now, I don't know if they actually do tally up all the ships purchased, Kickstarter, the investors, or if this is really just from the players. But then if that's the case, then I really would like to interview someone who has spent at least over $10,000 on this game and ask them why, how, and does your wife know about it and look i'm not here to put anyone down about spending money on this project hey that's your money you do with it what you want and guess what if you're having fun well isn't that what's important at the end of the day because i'll tell you you could definitely have a ton of fun with this game with or without spending a ton of money hell even myself i've technically spent at least over a hundred dollars over the course of a year from upgrading from an aurora mr to now a drake cutlass black and speaking of my Drake, I went to my first ever defense con hosted by none other than Drake Interplanetary. And it's really funny seeing the lore between the UEE and Drake Interplanetary. If you guys don't, don't know what I'm talking about, basically these guys like to host conventions at the same time. But you know what else happens at the same time? The entire server likes to get bogged down on by basically just one planet. So I really feel like coming in at this time during a free fly event as well definitely led to a lot of issues so i'm hoping that the game gets better guys let me know in the comments down below does the game actually get better when there's not a free fly event and two conventions happening at the same time plus uh junk town happening as well too just just let me know if that's an actual thing but of course sit back relax please press that like button and enjoy my first ever experience at what i like to call the comic con in space Defense con. Uh, area 18. I love hanging out here, but but PC doesn't. And I think the servers don't like it when I'm here either. So I heard about a convention going on that includes Drake manufacturer or I guess Drake interplanetary. I am now the proud owner of a Drake black cutlass and a Drake mule and a Drake dragonfly. I'm pretty much all draked up. So I went from the classic starter pack of the Aurora MR to now the Drake Cutlass Black. And I know there is a convention happening with the UE Navy over at the convention center, but we're going to say screw that one. I guess we have to go to Riker Memorial Spaceport and go to Defense Con because I guess the lore between the two factions is that they don't like each other. And you know what? Oh, the tramp's here. I can see why they wouldn't enjoy each other's company. I feel like, Woo! I just made it. Yeah, my first convention ever. I'm actually kind of excited to go check it out. See what's there, what looks like, uh, I guess, <laughs> is this just like the, the space version of Comic-Con pretty much? Okay, so as we approach this, this place, uh, my first initial thoughts with the game I would say after playing it for a good amount of time, I would say really just a few days, but I have been grinding 
this game. I have been doing nothing but really just mercenary missions, bunker runs, just space combat, just really trying to get into the heat of it all. And uh, yeah, I'm absolutely loving it. There's a guy right there. What's up, dude? Um, where do I go for defense con now? <laughs> also, right before this, I was chilling at Crusader and basically my ship decided to blow up just sitting on the platform it's very annoying i do have to say that there are a lot of issues with this game like holy crap the amount of times that i've cursed so far at this game because of the dumb stuff that happens but i get it i get why people keep coming back to this game <gasps> Ooh, there it is drake defense con check that out oh this is kind of cool 29.53 Hold on, this is, gonna be, this is my first ever Drake convention. This is actually kind of cool. Oh, man. I love how it looks so jank compared to uh, the UEE one. But you know what? Listen, from humble beginnings, from humble beginnings. Did it work? Elevator, please. Okay, it did work. It's just, you know, Star Citizen, I guess. All right, down to the ship hall. Ooh. Oh, okay, this is pretty cool. Ooh, there's the Corsair. That's that's the ship that I want next. That looks so cool. And then we got the Cutlasses. Hell yeah, represent. Represent. I definitely know what these ships fly like. I don't know what's the... Oh, that's it's like a rescue variant. Hang on, wait. Yeah, it's like a little rescue paramedic variant. That's kind of cool. Wait, the Corsair. Oh, wait, I have one of these. Wait, can I actually sit on it? Mount passenger seat. Mount. Hold on. What do you what do you do when you mount it? No. Oh, oh, oh. Can I turn it on? It's on, but it's not really, really on. Okay. I mean, that's kind of cool that it, you know, lets you sit on it. Something like that. The guy's looking at me. He's already judging me. I'm sorry, dude. Look, it was really cool. Okay. Uh, yeah, this is the next ship that I want. So it's, I know it's got the elevator here. Oh, hold on. Is someone inside? I think someone's inside. Oh, dude. There's actually a pretty good amount of room in this thing. I kind of wish there was a little bit more. I feel like the Cutlass kind of extends sideways more for some reason. But I'm, I'm not mad about this one. Oh, yeah, there is a guy here. What's up, dude? You enjoying the uh, convention? Okay, cool. <laughs> it's very crowded, but I just this part right here, the mess hall. Like, I don't know something about it. Just screams alien. This is a Drake Vulture. Okay. Uh oh, salvage. I that's why I'm seeing seeing these things everywhere at spaceports right now because. I guess everyone keeps dying and crashing. Okay, so Corsair is next, I feel like. Oh, this is a little cool ship. What is this? Light fighter, right? Oh, an interdictor. Okay, what is what is this little guy? You're kind of chunky. A herald. Huh. Medium data plan uh, ship. Okay. I mean, it's cool looking. And I know this one, I just don't remember the name. But I think I know people grab the cutter. This is kind of like the shit that people grab first in the Drake line of ships. Because I actually never seen the inside of this. The fact that it's got a ramp in the back too is kind of nice. Yeah, it's like a little tiny version of the Cutlass. It feels like. Let me see. What does the inside of this look like? Oh, you got a little bed there. You got a, a sink. What? I don't even have a sink. I want one and then moving on up and then there's the all oh, the pilot seat like swivels up there okay I mean it's a ship it's a very small ship but it's a ship it's very chubby <laughs> and this giant one what is this guy I think this is just a giant like uh, freight one right i believe transport the drake caterpillar now this one 
not gonna lie i was really looking at grabbing only because of apparently the cargo space but i wanted the what is it the what's the word the pirates version i guess of it i wanted to check out is this the elevator all right oh oh that's cool god, god everything about the ship is cool or everything about this game again when it works it works and when it doesn't holy crap does it piss me off okay so this is the caterpillar oh 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 remember when i said that the corsair gave me alien vibes no this one does okay so this is really cool i again i already know what the cutlasses look like inside the corsair i feel like would be the next jump that's really cool i love that shit, but i just think that's not meant for a solo player right now power to the people hell yeah power to the people boy, brother Ooh. wait what is this drake interplanetary kraken a kraken has been released and that means one thing there's no putting it back the this attack carrier whoa now talk about a multi-crew ship wait hold up i heard this isn't actually out yet which is kind of sad because I think these would be so cool to see out in the wild. Where the hell would you land this thing? Where do you refuel? Like, <laughs> are there like stations ready to use those things? And also, oh, check this out. What is this? What is this? Why am I getting sucked into it? Look at this guy. Look at that chat. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, oh, guys, what? What is this? <laughs> I'm freaking out, dude. Oh, explosions. That guy drinking the cup of coffee. Like, like it's nothing, dude. Whoa, 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 Wait, is that the Kraken? Yeah, it is. Okay. Shiz, the... Okay. I'm sorry. I don't care who you are. That is a badass commercial. And he goes back to mining. Oh, he was a miner. He just... He, he knew Drake, Defense Planetary, would come and, and help him out. Wait a minute. Whoa, I want that paint job. Ooh, I want that paint job. Guys, you don't under what, what is this? What dude? I wait, when the wait, there's a military version of the Drake cutlass that I have right now that has guns on the outside. What is eh. I You gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me.